Do 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 do. Old mountain trail where we're. All right. Fog ain't like nothing you've seen in the Commonwealth. It's gonna suck. Think of those of Radaways all you need. Can we hurry it up? Fresh ones. Trappers ahead. When the bullets start flying, find cover. Keep your head down if you want to live. Okay then. I'll show you, old man. Headshots. Is he wearing it? They're out there. Oh, he's just he's just going for it, man. Oh. Oh, he's gotta reload, huh? Melee! Wah. That's right! All right, good job, Longfellow. Now we need to put our new weapon on a hotkey so I can more easily access it. There we go. All right. I don't know the range about this one. It might be medium range. Go, 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 go. All right. Oh. Pew. I'm not hitting. There we go. Here, there's one guy above. Whoop! Bam! <laughs> what are you wearing on your head? That's amazing. Trapper gear, lobster trap helmet. You're wearing a lob. You are literally wearing a lobster trap on your head. Is this what goes for fashion here in Far Harbor? Okay, well I can see why. This is. Who do I look like? I'm reminded of a creature. Not Pyramid Head, but he's similar to Pyramid Head. And he has like a... Oh, I don't know what which creature or like monster I'm thinking about, but... Oh, it's like similar to Pyramid Head. It's like... Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking about. Maybe it's just Pyramid Head that I'm thinking about. But Pyramid Head had a pyramid, but... Hmm. Still, this is freaking amazing. Trappers are fishermen and hunters driven crazy by the frog. The frog? <laughs> no, the fog. Figured I'd have to take care of a lot of them. I just make a proper far harbor man out of you. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. I can't be standing around in rads all day while you're having your jolly little conversation. See the fog into a number on me. Get you all turned around. Does something to your brain. Trappers were mean to begin with, but now. Yeah. They get you. Reminds me of something from Soma. Yeah, kinda. Whoa. Fog ghoul. Oh. Boom. <laughs> Lobster head man. Lobster head man. Good night. Got the bottle caps. And we're done. Let's head out, old man. We're gonna have so many rads up our butts by the end of this. Crisscross the road, so don't be surprised if we got local wildlife to deal with. Looks like that thing from Evil Within. It is. It is inspired by the glowing sea. Oh! I just shot his head off. Whoops! I just shot that thing's head. Oh, that was amazing. Oh. Still got a ways to go. All right. Let's keep our eyes open then, Longfellow. Dun dun. Dun dun. Hear that? Crawler. They usually stick to the deep fog. Best we steer clear. But you never okay. know. Oh, this is amazing. I was a young lad, no higher than you and me. Old island was covered. Much more intriguing than most Fog Commonwealth stuff. Back. People reset, but they got comfortable. Started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this. Thanks for the link, by the way, whoever whispered me. It's just hard to read your name because it's yellow. <laughs> I have to strain my eyes and lean in real close. <laughs> but yeah. Oh. Uh, do you, Longfellow? 
Do you hear that? Yep. Gulpers. The fire rate's not as abysmal as I first thought it was gonna be, actually. Is this Mirelurk alive? No, they killed the Mirelurk. Oh, they're in a battle here. Let's go for the Gulper, maybe. Who's gonna win? Oh, looks like the Mirelurk's the winner. He had a little backup from uh, from Longfellow, though. That's right, Alicia. Don't let him push you around. Times the size of a man. Good thing you don't see too many of them. Oh, ambush. Boom. If we didn't have bullet time here, we would be dead. With bullet time, I could just take care of everybody. That's my reflexes. So I use like slow motion, like jet like slow motion instead of vats, essentially. I just, I don't use VATS, so I, and I give myself bullet time, because bullet time is just more fun. VATS is sort of the opposite of fun. Lame. That is the dictionary opposite, by the way. That is the, the antonym? Hold there. <gasps> Did you just rise up out of the ground? Stream I like your hair. More soul to the damnation, old man. Well, what have we here? Another rad worshipping lunatic. That's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those two. Ooh, you go, you go. Go ahead and shoot her then. She ain't worth wasting ammo on. Too bad I left my hunting knife at home. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. Yeah, whatever you say. Watch yourself, outsider. You walk through Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move on. Sure. Let's get going. <laughs> Do you have any Nuka Cola on you, by the way? That's. Oh, you don't even. <laughs> Screw you then. All right, we're going. Nothing Sorry, Longfellow. He doesn't. He has no idea what happened behind him. Is not too far now. Oh. Okay. Oh, what is? That is a dome. That's a dome. That looks like a cinema that we call the Colosseum here in Norway. It's not shaped like the Colosseum, but it's the same. It's it's the it's dome shaped. It's, it's freaking huge. The main hall is like, boom! You look up and you just see. Oh, so nice. Acadia's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again? You come see me. Got a Mine. cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest. Or you can stay drunk. <laughs> yeah, get drunk. Just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. I'm liking Longfellow. Come with me. You should come with me. I could still use your help. <laughs> All right. Why the hell not? Beats drinking alone. <laughs> right. Ada is still following us. Who cares about Ada? Let's send her to Sanctuary Hills. Yes. There we go, Longfellow is in the house. There we go, I want a more proper... I want my wool fisherman's cap. There we go. Get that Norwegian look going. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Looks so amazing. Acadia, so this is then gonna be like a little synth town. You'll be liking his Longfellow later. Hardy har. Hey Mitch, Mitchell. Here we go for a second and come back to see the headwear that I was wearing. Yeah, that can be a bit scary, I suppose. You know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. 
You've entered a place of clarity, Tough. understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. Well, that's a better attitude than 90% of the other factions around. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? She is a synth. That's why she left home. Kasumi had honest questions about herself. She came here for answers. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? First of all, I'm not here to take Kasumi. Kasumi's a grown-ass woman. She can do whatever she wants. If she wants to be here, I don't care. But that actually made me pause for a second. How would I know? How would I even know? I'm afraid if you're looking for some biological test we can do, there isn't any. That's spooky. None that aren't fatal. Instead, you have to look for the signs. Holes in someone's memory. Feelings of unexplained isolation. Odd dreams. But ultimately, you have to decide for yourself. What do you believe? Have you ever questioned your humanity? I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? The first memory? I was with my wife. We were getting ready for the day. I had to take care of my boy, Sean. And, uh... <sighs> well, a lot's happened since then. But no memories before then? No childhood? Your first best friend? Your first... kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate, but feelings, that's a hard thing to transfer into another mind. Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease. The background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. You talk a lot. But it's interesting though, because I Varus is not supposed to be the default player character. He's not supposed to be before the wall to finding Sean. He's just supposed to have always lived in the wasteland. So the fact that he brought that up, I'm like, but I'm not but you, you're not allowed to really roleplay in Bethesda games. You have a set backstory. You are this character doing this and this. You have a few choices of factions, but overall, you are this character. You are the Dragonborn. You must do this. So, Varos could very well be a synth, for all we know. I've heard enough. Where's Kasumi Nakano? Of course. Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you need anything else before you go? 
I should get going. Of course. Perhaps they were in there a long time. Oh, you're just chilling over there having a sip? I'm don't drink the water! You don't drink the water! Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. Oh, hey, Lafayette. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Help to sense. So we have some synths, we have some fishermen, and we have some children of Adam. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or well, efficiently as possible. But thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. I wanted to see for myself that she's safe. You have my word. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? If you're so sure this is a great place, I just I just had one simple request. Let me just see this person and be like, hey, you okay? Oh, that's good. I'm gonna get out of your hair. Sounds like a pretty thankless job. I don't do it to be thanked. I do it because otherwise, we'd all be dead. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. Hmm, it's kind of my first day. Okay. What's the problem? We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. You have any leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, a synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Alright. The arrival. Talk to Brooks. Well, it's something we can consider. I assume you're not planning on staying. That's a little rude, don't you think? <laughs> Treat all your guests like this? No. We don't have... guests. Acadia is only as secure as we make it. We take unnecessary risks, we get careless, and things can go bad. Fast. If there's a synth who needs a safe place, then we take them in. Let them live as a synth, without fear. You don't fit that description. That makes you an unnecessary risk. It's nothing personal. Minimizing our contact with outsiders is just practical. There are some very big parallels between the synths and the fishermen here, like, What are you doing here, outsider? We don't like your can here. You can relax. I'm not a threat. Just don't cause any trouble. Don't worry. Unless I find out that you have Nuka Cola stashed in your back pocket, we won't have any issues. Speaking of which, where's that Kazumi chick? How synth are you? Yep, I figured it would be pretty human. Otherwise, it's like, am I a synth? And you're just a full-blown robot. It's like, yeah. Hello, Kazumi. I'm going to talk to your booty right now. Look at me. I'm a sexy fisherman. How can you not look at me? Your parents sent me. They want you to come home. They... They did what? You came all this way... For me. Look, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. What do you mean? I'm not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? Could have left a note or something. I know it must be hard for you. I just want to make sure you're here for the right reasons. Yeah, so I am. I mean, yes, 
I believe I'm a synth, but there's something wrong here with Acadia. There's more going on than just the refuge. I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've done enough for me. Fine. It's your choice, Kasumi. Thank you. Now, I just have to figure out how to... <sighs> wait. Wait, you find things, track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. And the what paycheck. I told you that there's a secret. A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. Are you talking about the secret Nuka Cola stash of the pirate Redbutt? Because I heard back in the day, Pirate Redbutt, he amassed a huge amount of Nuka Cola and hid it somewhere on this island. If we could find that, we'd be good. I don't want to be sarcastic without knowing what is going to... Not saying anything. It's, it's called streaming, my dear. All right, I'm listening. Okay, where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that I've found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. Well, I'll lend a hand. I'll help if I can. But that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Ooh, okay, so... We can hack the terminal, we can eavesdrop, but we would need like some luck picking, improvise. Yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll just go talk to him. Just... This will be easier if I just talk to Dima. I'll probably need charisma. He needs I don't have any of these. Right. Good luck. Let me know what you find out. I probably don't have the charisma for this. Gain access to the storage room. Hack Faraday's terminal. Longfellow. Hey, go on. What's up? I pressed the talk button, nothing happened. Guess he's not up for it. <gasps> Alicia's making herself at home. She's probably happy to see a synth heaven, considering what she's done in her own series. Is there no place for an old fisherman? Because I don't think I have skills so good enough to get anything done. But let's... Let's have a look, though. I might need charisma if I'm gonna go talk to him. Otherwise, why would he just indulge in sharing? We could go out, but which we don't want to do. We could hack the terminal. Terminal probably has mad security, though. Like, I'm talking expert lock. Master. Faraday. I wonder if Faraday would have a key to it, but I don't want to get caught pickpocketing. Hey. Dima. Yes. What is it? But should I bring it up, though? Well, sure. Sumi says she's seen parts of your memories. Death projections. For Far Harbor and the center of the island. That's unfortunate. She should be focusing on herself. Her new life. She shouldn't have to bear the burden of the outside world. Please. This is a matter best left to me and my advisors. We aren't planning to destroy the island. Those projections were merely to help us realize the cost of inaction. Alicia? Huh? What are you talking about? What are you planning? That's my <laughs> responsibility to bear. 
Alicia's with them. He's like, back off. With it. Now, I'm getting sick of this whole noble leader bullshit from you, Dima. Come at me. Now, stop hiding and tell me the truth. This isn't about who's being honest. This is about the future of Acadia. And that's our business. If this thing involves the whole island, then you need help. I can be your problem solver if you let me in. I'm sorry, but I have to insist. This is a matter of security for all of Acadia. Longfellow's liking it. Fine. Keep your secrets. That would be best. You little punk. Can't find a different way to do it. Boom. I don't have the charisma. I don't have the hacking skills. I don't have the lockpicking skills. Boom. This is a nice little place. We could set up shop here, Alicia. Live out our days as fishermen. Oh, look at this, though. All of that fog. Yeah. This is actually really pretty. Now, where are we in the world? We are down, down here. I got a few map markers around because of the magazine that I found. I would like to go get those power tools, but it would involve us traversing the island. But we might as well. Everybody with me? They'll catch up. Because we're moving out. It's fisherman time.